Hello everyone and welcome to this Footer Pro tutorial video where I am going to cover how to integrate Footer Pro with Joe Workman's Foundation Framework for Wrap Weaver. If you ever want to learn more about Foundation, uh, go to weavers.space, click Stacks, and you will find Foundation for Wrap Weaver. You can learn more about it, purchase it, all that good stuff. So today um, I have made a, uh, using a project file, that Joe Workman provided me. This is the foundation um, kind of demo site. So uh, I have purposely removed the footer from the bottom here because we're gonna show how Footer Pro can add a footer to this example website. So I'm gonna jump over to Footer Pro right now. And uh, to jumpstart production, I'm gonna choose a theme. So I'm gonna click the themes button in the toolbar. I'm gonna go to premium themes, and then I'm gonna go to the Slack theme. This loads up very nicely, and this is fully editable by clicking links, uh, editing titles, uh, giving it a URL. You can add an icon if you want, all that good stuff. Um, but what I'm gonna show is integration right now. So let's say that I like the look of this Slack theme and I just wanna kind of preview it with the uh, work in progress website that I have right here. Well, you can do this inside of Footer Pro by uh, copying the main URL to the website, go to frame and then paste it in here. And then boom, I can now see the context of my work in progress website with the Footer Pro uh, footer that I'm working on right now. So let's say I'm like, this looks great. I'm ready to go. I wanna now bring this into Rapweaver in my main site. So I'm gonna close out frame and uh, I'm gonna go to Rapid Weaver just to kind of show you how we're gonna start to set this up. It's very quick. So I'm gonna go to the very bottom of this project file. I'm gonna open my library, and then I'm gonna type in footer. You can type in footer pro if you want. Um, and I have already installed the footer pro stack. This is a free stack just to make setup easier for Rapid Weaver stacks. So I'm gonna drag this now to the bottom. And then I'm gonna, if I open the stack settings, which they already are open, I have a HTML box and a CSS box. Now this coincides exactly with the export features of HTML and CSS. So guess what we're gonna do? Yeah, you guessed it, copy, paste, and then again, copy, and then paste. Now, uh, taking that back panel away, uh, we have down here the uh, Slack footer all ready to go. Let's go to preview, check this out. Boom, it's already ready. And it's already fully mobile responsive. This is a done footer, folks. You can publish this to your website and call it a day. So, um, but there's one thing we want to do because right now um, it's on one page, but it's not on subsequent pages for our whole website. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a stacks partial. It's this green button up here. I'm going to click that and boom, it is now partial. We're going to go back. And I'm going to copy this partial and I'm going to put it on um, every page of my site. Let's check this theme page now, and now it is looking good and it's ready to go too. The reason why we're going to make this a partial before sticking it on all site pages is if you do uh, make changes to this footer, you want it to go across all pages of your site. You don't wanna be updating every single page. This is where partial really shines. So make it a partial first and then copy and paste it on every uh, site or at the bottom of every stack page in your website. Um, so let's say though that you actually do wanna edit this footer and you're like, how do I do that? Uh, very simple, let's open up this partial and remember that HTML and CSS? Well, in Footer Pro, let's start from the beginning again, you can import code. This is very key for managing and maintaining footers in the long term. Uh, so we have an HTML and CSS box. I'm gonna take this HTML, copy it, paste it, and it validates. It says, oh, Footer Pro, this is the Footer Pro code. I like it. And then uh, we're gonna do the same thing with the CSS. That validates too, it checks out. Now we're gonna import that and check it out. It is ready to change around. 
So just for a quick example, let's see how we have product, Slack for Teams, resources, company. Um, let's say that I wanted uh, this, I wanted this over here. And uh, let's say I wanted to adjust these footer rows um, over there just to change up the look. And then say, oh, I like that, that looks great. I can now copy that code and bring this back to the HTML, paste it in. Same thing with the CSS copy it and paste it in. And now let's see in preview our changes. Uh, uh, oh, let's, sorry, we gotta go back. <laughs> and it's looking correct with our new changes. Slack for Teams is now on the left and we've our row adjustment has been changed too. So that is how you manage footers and edit them. Uh, let's say a client needs a change or something like that. Very easy to import it back in Rap Weaver and make those changes. Uh, so that is it. Uh, one of the things I wanted to say, two things is, if you ever get stuck using Footer Pro, we have full documentation. Just click the help tab or the help button um, in the toolbar and uh, you just kind of type in what you're looking for help with and chances are we have full documentation on that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out was in the beginning we used uh, the premium themes, we used Framer uh, also to uh, kind of bring in that preview of our uh, work in progress website and Footer Pro. And then in this, and lastly here, we use the import feature. So the premium themes, the frame tool and import these are all Footer Pro features that are only available with an Unlocked Pro account. Uh, so this is a paid account or a paid subscription. Uh, you don't have to keep up with paying the subscription. You can do this for just one year, knock out all your site footers, and then you can just not subscribe after that. Totally fine. You can use these footers forever. When a, you export code, it is yours forever. Um, so that's it. Um, if you want to learn more, you can check out footerpro.com. Uh, for documentation, why I made Footer Pro, you can launch the app, all that good stuff. And that is it. Thanks for watching, guys.